Hello everybody and welcome. My name is Julie Mann and I show men and women how they can live healthy, happy, sustainable lives by changing their habits and using cutting edge products that help them to age well. And I'm absolutely delighted because today I'm joined by Dawn Phoenix and Dawn works as a clinical hypnotherapist and she's also a best-selling author. So hi Dawn. Hi Julie, how are you today? I'm good, it's fantastic to see you. And I'm just gonna hand over straight to you because okay. I believe we're gonna talk about habits for soft living. Yes, so oh. with the pandemic, people have slowed down a lot in their lives and they have learned they don't have to go back to the nine to five you know, daily grind anymore. And in fact, a lot of people, especially millennials are refusing to. And to, to go back to that nine to five daily grind. Now I'm not a millennial, but that is a way of life that has always appealed to me just in general. So what soft living is, is the refusal to work the nine to five job that gives you the stress and the strain and the pressure that it takes its toll on your mental and physical, you know, and emotional well-being. So I have a couple habits that I have taken into my life just naturally, and they are part of soft living. So the first habit that I am able to use is to work from home. And you can usually, a lot of companies are still supporting this. Even if you work for another company, I work for myself. So as a hypnotherapist, I can do my clients over Zoom just like this, or even over the phone. So I'm able to set the appointments for the times that work for my clients and myself. And I don't have more than three appointments in a day. They're usually about an hour a piece. Now the in-between work, you know, writing down the notes that takes time too. the after, you know, the session notes, but in general, I make sure I don't work more than four to six hours a day, which I know it doesn't sound like a lot, but we really don't need to work 10 or 12 or even eight hours a day, most of us. Um, so I definitely try to keep my hours down and working from home is very relaxing also. So that helps me maintain, you know, that, that stress-free life. And sorry, that was a notification. I thought I had them turned off, apologies. Um, so that helps me just stay nice and relaxed and be the best version of myself that I can for my clients and also for myself. The second thing that I do, since I work from home, I'm able to, the day before, plan out my schedule so that I know when I need to get up, when I need to be prepared. And the, the second habit is in the morning, I get to practice some radical self-care in the morning. And what I mean by radical self-care, and I know you're into self-care, Julie, in your beautiful ways, and I love it. So it's so wonderful how this dovetails. I can take the time that I need to, to shower and listen to music while I make a delicious, healthy breakfast for myself and my boyfriend. If we wanna sit out on our balcony and just talk while we eat, we can. If I want to just eat breakfast and then meditate, uh, before I start my day or exercise, I have that time in there that I can. And it's not that I'm rushing out the door, you know, to shove a muffin in my mouth and zoom because that's no good either. So I love having the ability to build in that self-care time. Um, and the third habit is something that <gasps> might be a little, oh, I don't work on Fridays. So as often as I can possibly help it, I give myself a three-day weekend every week. And that makes the work week so much easier to get through, even though it's not hard anyway, because then I know I have a three-day weekend. I have that gift I'm giving myself so that we can go do things we want to do, maybe when it's not so crowded and other people are still at work, you know, if I'm going out with my boyfriend or if he's at work and I just have time to relax at home or do the things like the chores and the cleaning so they don't have to do that necessarily on a weekend. Um, and so just having that extra day off built in is kind of like a sensual little treat that also helps just keep the stress down. So working from home and having that wonderful time for radical self-care every morning and taking a three-day weekend every week. Those are my three habits for soft living. 
Fantastic. I absolutely love that you've mentioned self-care because I think that really is key to people living a happy, healthy life. And I also love that you mentioned planning, Dawn, because actually, you know, we don't, we don't have self-care and we don't have time off and we don't have all sorts of things if we don't plan it in. We literally have to schedule it in, don't we? Because stuff happens and, um, mm -hmm. you know, we, we get kind of um, sideswiped by something else. So it really, really is important, that planning. So really, really simple. And um, obviously it's, it's absolutely nourishing and serving you well, Dawn. So thank you ever so much. Thank you, Julie. <laughs> So for those people that don't really know anything apart from what Dawn has shared about herself, um, I would just really recommend that you look below this video in the description and you'll find all of Dawn's links. I absolutely recommend that you reach out to her, ask her a question, you know, make, make contact and, um, and just take advantage of her amazing wealth of experience and um, of her brilliant skills. So thank you again, Dawn, and thank you ever so much, everyone, for watching. Thank you.